30, a terrifying few minutes today for an out-of-town family vacationing in Cocoa Beach. A 10-year-old boy disappeared while at the beach with his parents and sister. The family is staying at the Hampton Inn on A1A. News 6's James Barbero is there now. And fortunately, James, this story has a happy ending. So what happened? It is happy news, Ginger. That's why we can smile. The boy is okay. His family in town from Boston, Massachusetts, down here to go to Disney and also stop at the beach. This one beach day that the family will never forget. Possible water rescue behind the Hampton Inn. While most folks enjoy their winter vacation. He was last seen in the water. A family from Boston swaps relaxation for panic when their 10-year-old seemingly disappears. We cannot find him anywhere. We walked down back and forth on the beach, just couldn't find this boy. Mother Kathy Wong called 911 after the family looked for 15 minutes. Two-year-old is Mel, last seen in the water about 30 yards out. Authorities prepared for a water rescue. Jet skis were out. These two saw the response. Police officers came up to the lady, and then the fire department came. Turns out the boy was a half mile south inside the Doubletree Hotel. So I kept on walking. According to Johnny, he became separated from his family and went looking for them. He walked all the way down the beach to the Doubletree where a man noticed he was lost and brought him to the hotel's front desk. The authorities were alerted. The juvenile has been located. And Johnny was soon reunited with his family, safe and sound. Uh, next time, careful. We are so happy. It's a quite a relief. Thank you so much for all the police team, police officer, uh, all the staff in Hampton Inn, and even the strangers in the town. They come over here on the beach, give me the hug, told me no worry. Yeah, really thank you so much. Wonderful job to all the parties involved. So Johnny was missing for 45 minutes in total. The family tells me, though, ladies, they're not going to let this ruin their vacation. They're happy that they can be together one final night in Cocoa Beach before they head home in the morning. Certainly, what a story they'll have for their folks back home. In Cocoa Beach, I'm James Sparvero, News 6. Had to be the longest 15 minutes of their lives. Thank you, James.